Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to do another one of our gameplay videos where we're going to this time choose Ghent Revelgum and we're going to be into much I want to group a bit obviously and we're going to try and reclaim the title that historic title with Binny and uh, yeah what, what a sensational win that was but I'll pick the team that's down on the start list and then without further ado let's get on. So here we can see that this is the well, start line in Ypres, not actually in Ghent, but uh, we'll, well, I'll try and do my best here to try and get Binny to win it here. But uh, yeah, everyone's definitely going to be looking at us. We're wearing number one. You can see the team there. You can see Buström in there. You can see Tako van der de Ghent. Um, but yeah, it's a fascinating one. And a uh, few attacks going off the road, or up the road, shall I say, Tako van der Horn. But yeah, we really want to try and get Binny in there. Um, they're getting the victory, but there are plenty of guys here that we don't, well, that could be a proper challenge. And uh, yeah, well, it's very boring until then, so I'm going to fast forward. So here we are. We've got about less than 100 kilometers to go, and I'm trying to send De Ghent up here, get De Ghent to put the pressure on. It looks like none of the other teams are really willing to put the hammer down, but I also want to try and take it to other teams. We've got Absin de Koenig, we've got Jumbo Visma, we've got Sudal Quickstep. So yeah, really try and upset the flow here. And a hill coming up here, and this should be quite, quite detrimental. And we also know that Binny is probably the better of the climbers in terms of, or the sprinters in terms of climbing. So if we can put Jasper Philipsen uh, under pressure, okay, well, Vinat is probably a better climber, but if we can just upset the the flow, the status quo a bit, uh, that would be quite nice for us. And put them under pressure, and you can tell Alpus and De Koenig here, they are a bit threatened. Uh, Tosh van der Sander up here as well, but the lead to the breakaway, two minutes and, what, two minutes and 30? So it's come down quite a bit since since uh, we actually took it up at the front. Is it wise to use it again? I don't know, you often see this in bike races where they don't really use up their domestiques beforehand. Gavirian here as well. And they kind of just get dropped by other riders' domestiques. But uh, yeah, the breakaway up here, they still have a comfortable lead to some extent. But uh, De Ghent doing a sterling effort here for his team leader, Gomai. And uh, yeah, let's see what pressure we can put there. Can we actually split the group? Yeah, I think the group's actually been split now. Just about 30 seconds split, but obviously on Pro Pro Cycling Manager, this it doesn't, it, yeah, the distances are very uh, exaggerated, if you will. But yeah, you can see the Madouaz, he had problems before. Henok, the African continental champion at the back here. But Gumai is up in the front third, I would say, here on the couple section. I think this is our first couple section. And Devon Bala, the Jumbo Visma, it's like the danger they have is just incredible. Like the fact that you're allowed to have this many superstars on a team is just incredible. Uh, but yeah, De Ghent still pushing at the front where Taco van der Horn is going out the back, unfortunately. So yeah, we want to try and survive these splits and uh, <laughs> oops, Petit going out the back here. So yeah, we, we need to try and cling on here. Petit, or obviously a good sprinter. But uh, yeah, but the thing is, if I close this gap, that means I'm going to be bringing a bunch of domestiques up to the other teams, and we don't really want to do that. So let the other teams do it, and then we can potentially benefit off this. De Ghent still at the front. Let's, should we put in more energy here? Oh, we've got a crash. Degenkolb and Lampard, probably the two biggest names in that unfortunate group that crashed 42 men in this so we're trying to keep them away we know that there's uh, a few guys that'll be coming up to help us if they actually do get back but put the other teams under pressure Trentin former podium finisher like you want to put these guys under pressure this is how I think you should be racing these kind of races really full-on attrition just like throw it on everyone else but the problem is there's quite a lot of riders up here that we still don't want in here. Tunison, should we try and get him to do something potentially? Um, Binny's doing all right. Uh, Boostom is looking after Binny. But uh, yeah, let's try and get uh, Tunison. We can make him put, put this under pressure as well, just move up. But Binny's at the back of the group. That's not where we want him. Uh, De Ghent, 
He's doing fairly well. He's running out of energy, as you would imagine. But we're less than 70 kilometers now. Nathan Van Hoendong is struggling. Ghana is in that group. Not that Ghana is particularly going to be a threat in this. Wout Van Aert, that is a big, big scoop. Wout Van Aert is in that second group now. So that's why they're scrambling in that group. Or third group, technically, because we still have the breakaway up the road. But uh, De Ghent, uh, we're moving, moving Jonathan up here as well. Gamay. Imagine if we just attack from here with Gamay. Okay, it's a bit far out, but um, yeah, if we put Bustrom, Bustrom is still uh, in charge of looking after Bini. We've got, who else? I think we've got Niels Pollard in here. But yeah, so like we're trying to throw it in the face of Alpecin de Koenig, not just try and let them win, but Jasper Philipsen is the big danger here. And uh, Manus Court would be quite a danger, good sprint on him. And uh, yeah, what Van Aert, that is the big danger man who's in that second, third group, whatever you want to call it. But breakaway riders going out the back here. So uh, a shame for them. Um, but well, it's not over for the breakaway, but some of the breakaway riders, we can see them now. Jonathan doing a phenomenal effort here at the front. Should we just mm, change it a bit? Um yeah, so Chionison brought in as a new rider for this season, and I'm not sure this is what they're going to be using him for. They could be using him as like a satellite rider as well. It kind of throw him up the field. Uh, I think equally could be good for that. We can see Petit is struggling a bit. Uh, are we all in the same group now? I think we may be. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's a phenomenal effort. No, not in the same group. But again, you can see that we've got four riders, or uh, three riders in that second group. So if it does go back together, which I think it will, courtesy of Wout Van Aert here, uh, we still have three more riders to help us out. So it's not a bad result. So if we make Jonathan just take it easy, again, you can see he's suffering a bit. But uh, yeah, three riders coming up to help us. Ugo Page as well. So yeah, well, it's all back together, but um Wout Van Aert has definitely taken a bit out of himself by closing that gap so it's not too bad we've got the next climb Monteberg looks vicious one kilometer long pretty bad could split the field once again but um yeah Binny's up there in the front third of the group so actually midway now struggling a bit falling a bit behind so where Chionison is, and again, that is where we really should have Binny. But Stoven up here, Wat Van Aert is already back up here in the front. So, oh, this isn't good. This is, but he's got boost to him. So it's not too bad, but you want to watch out here. These are the kind of opportunities or not opportunities. These are the risky parts where the field just splits in two, but Jonathan's still up there. He's taking a rest, though, after that very hard effort. And, uh, yeah, this is getting interesting. We've got less than 50 kilometers left now, so all still to play for, and uh, we're certainly in a good position. There's a bit of a split now in the field, so we need to make sure that we don't get caught out here with our riders. You can see the split in there. The peloton courtesy of that has just – it's all over the place now. Riders in all the groups, the front group. We have actually not got Binny in the front group now, so but the gap's going to be closed anyway, courtesy of Jung Bob Jungles there. But th that's the danger. It's just like these small groups just split up on these climbs and then, yeah, gone. And then we we might not be able to get it back. And also the extra energy you just have to waste by closing these gaps. But uh, yeah, Mauno Sheffield at the front. So Amador, that peculiar but sure uh stoven attacking as well so attacks happening here if we just subdue that with churnison potentially um if we just yeah make him put the pace really high and that can kind of uh close out this or kind of subdue it but yeah if we put ugo page Maybe he can close it. Nils. It's an interesting move. Matej Morohic. It's riders you don't really want to let go up the road. Petit, maybe he's got a bit of energy. Gilmai is still here. Um, yeah. It's panic stations, really. Everyone's getting a bit fidgety. Everyone's desperate for an attack here. So 
yeah, what do we do? Jumbo Visma, they're the ones closing it down now with Van Bal. It's just crazy how strong riders they have. Like, uh, yeah, but we're, we're, we're trying to join with Ugo Paj, but you can see, yeah, it's being split up here. Plenty of riders, Jan Tratnik, not really a threat. Um, riders just all over the place, and uh, the, everyone's scrambling to stay in this front group. Everyone knows the danger. Oleman Arsen attacks, so that's another interesting, well, dangerous move. Ugo Paj, I think, is gone now. Gamay is struggling here to hang on. Luis Leon Sanchez falls. Who cares, really? Um, but yeah, Gamay trying to hang on here. This is the dangerous part where we're, what, 34 kilometers until the finish. So it's, yeah, this is dangerous, very dangerous at this point. But uh, yeah, Mate Morhej still attacking at the front. Um, Gamay was still in there. We've got, still got Bistron and Petit, so it's it's pretty good here, but like if we just turn us in, yeah, he may be done. Tackle Vanderhorn, he could, if we could get him up, yeah, let's try and close this gap with, mm, let's not actually, because we're bringing back uh, more competitors. Macho Vanderpol attacks, okay. Uh oh, Macho Vanderpol, Ben Turner, ah, uh, uh, that's not okay. Counter attack, so there's a lot of like attack stop attack stop attack stop and you can see it here if we just take petit to try and control these attacks a bit if he just push pushes the pace here this might be a bit of a mistake but at least if we do this we nullify the attacks so but you can see the group now is a 23 man group so it's a very strong group we've got 24 kilometers to go petit just taking control of things here and uh i think this may be a good move we we still got boost him in here so um plenty of cards well not cards to play the only card we have is Gamay. um but yeah milano struggling here uh, greg van avermaet former winner as well ama door in that group but so it's definitely these two front groups now it's it's completely split now s is not going to be in this um yeah i i would say this this group is done then they're not gonna close this gap now this this are the two groups that are gonna settle the victory now Christoph in that second group as well he's a dangerous rider to let back he's doing the work at the front match of underport attacking off the front delis in this group did you see that Dele delis in the group uh Bustrum, if we make him work now to close just to calm things this may be a mistake but i'm just trying to utilize our numbers um I think the tactic maybe might be to try and get Gomai to attack uh, before the sprint because there's too many good sprinters in here. Dili, uh, Wat Bernard, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a very dangerous group. There's Jasper Philipsen as well. We know what he did in Torino to Bini. So I'm just saying this. I it might be it might be bite me at the end, but I think we should try and do a Bini attack so we try and catch everyone off guard and uh, yeah you can just see Binny. we need him up there we need him to get ready it's 12 kilometers to go um yeah but uh yeah if Binny, if we just get him to solo at the front and then attack off the front it might be a bit too far out but oh, okay there's uh, an attack already while well, we would we were thinking of an attack then there's another attack so that's no good to us but at least we have Bustrom here so Bustrom um yeah if we get Bustrom to just close this gap down of these these favorites in front so we have to make use of Bustrom here because not I many Bora have numbers here but and I think a lot of destiny but not a lot of other riders have uh numbers like we do but uh, eight kilometers to go, we're getting very close to it. And if we just get Binny up here, it's. I'm trying to think if it slows down when we catch these guys and then hit them, and then everyone's going to be startled and it's going to be group two dynamics. So Binny closing up here because the storm is gone. And now this is it. This could be the winning move. Come on. This is it. We've got what? 5.9 kilometers to go. It's pro cycling manager. Uh, distances so if we can get this you take the gel boom here we go race winning move under 5k to go come on Benny, you can do oh no he's already he's already bouncing side to side 
Yeah, look, it, it's if he had more energy, I think we would have. This would have been fine. Much Van der Poel reacts. Ah, oh, okay, maybe not. Uh, yeah, Van der Poel powerful attack stops. Oh, Van der Poel, we're still out in front. The kilometers are ticking down. Two point seven kilometers. Nice pillars and what we're not attacking. Ah, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Ah, uh, so close to the line as well. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Mess pills. I think we could have beat mess pills. Ah, that's annoying. Sorry, guys. That was my fault. I should have believed in Bini's sprint there because uh, I think a lot more riders were tanked than I thought they were. 12th place. Yeah. Yeah. Apologies, I'm really sorry. Sorry, Binny as well. Sorry, Binny fans. I should have, we should have won that. I think I should have been on the wheel of Mess Pillars and, and then we could have taken that. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and until the next one, have a nice day.